क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी एट सॉल्व एक्स क्यू माइनस सेवन एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस फोर्टीन एक्स माइनस एट इज इक्वल टू जीरो गिवन दैट रूट आर इन जोमेट्रिकल प्रोग्रेशन फोर ऑप्शन आर गिवन टू अस फर्स्ट ऑप्शन इज वन बाई टू वन टू वी अप्लाई दिस कंडीशन हियर दैट द रूट आर जोमेट इन जोमेट्रिकल प्रोग्रेशन सो वन अपॉन वन अपॉन टू विल बी द कॉमन रेशियो दिस इज इक्वल टू टू We apply in second and third term. Two divided by one will be the common ratio, which is equal to two. So this option, the numbers given to us, are in geometrical progression. So second condition is satisfied. Now we will put these values in the given equation. I put one upon two in the given equation, so it becomes one upon two cube. Minus seven into one upon two is square plus fourteen into one upon two minus eight is equal to zero. I have put the first value in the given equation. Now see whether it is satisfied or not. It is one upon eight minus seven upon four plus this cancels seven times to so plus seven minus eight is equal to zero. This gives me LCM is eight, so one minus fourteen plus uh, this seven minus eight is minus one. So minus one multiplied by eight is minus eight. This should be equal to zero. This is twenty two minus one, which is which gives me twenty one upon eight. This is equal to zero. Now this is not true, so this option is rejected. Though these three numbers are in geometrical progression, but since one upon two is not satisfying the given equation, this option is rejected. Now we see the option B. Values given are one, two, and four. Now see whether it is in geometrical progression or not. Two divided by one will be the common ratio. So that gives me two. Four divided by two. That gives me two. That is, the numbers are in geometrical progression. Now we will put these values one by one in the given equation, and we'll see whether the equation is satisfied or not satisfied. Now, if I put x as one, it becomes one minus seven plus fourteen minus eight. This should be equal to zero. This is fourteen plus one fifteen minus seven minus eight is fifteen is equal to zero. It is satisfied. So one is satisfying. So now I will opt second option B. Uh, second option that is two. Two I put here. So it is two cube which is eight minus seven into two square. Two square is four. So minus twenty eight plus fourteen into two. Plus twenty-eight minus eight should be equal to zero. Cancel means zero is equal to zero. Two is also satisfying the given equation. Now I put x as four. Four cube that is sixty-four minus seven into four square means seven into sixteen that is hundred twelve. Plus fourteen into four, fifty-six minus eight should be equal to zero. Now sixty-four plus fifty-six, that is hundred twenty. Minus eight, hundred twelve minus eight is hundred twenty. This is zero, and which is true. So one, two, and four all are satisfying the given equation. So here option B is the correct answer. We will not go for option C and D, and our correct answer will be the roots of the given equation will be one, two, and four. Question number forty-nine. Solve a cubic equation is there. X cube minus six x square plus five x plus twelve is equal to zero. Given that the product of two roots is twelve, four options are given. We will take options one by one. Option A is one three four. 
when we apply the second condition that is the product of the roots is 12 it is satisfied here because 3 into 4 is 12 so second it is satisfying the second condition now I put these values since it is a cubic equation 3 roots will be there so 1 by 1 I will put all these 3 values in the given equation where I put 1 it becomes 1 cube is 1 minus 6 plus 5 plus 12 this is equal to 0. This gives me 5 plus 12 is 17 plus 1 is 18 minus 6 is equal to 0. Surely this value is not equal to 0. 12 cannot be equal to 0. So this option is not satisfying the given equation. It cannot be the root. So option A is rejected. Similarly 1 is there here also. So it cannot be the answer. Similarly, 1 is there also, so it cannot be the answer. Now, I put minus 1. Answer B is correct because it is the remaining, so it is this answer is correct. Now, for our satisfaction, we will put these values in the given equation. First, we will see whether the products are of two roots is 12. Here, 3 into 4 is 12, so this condition is satisfied. Now, I put minus 1 here, so that gives me minus 1 minus 6 plus 5 plus 12 this gives me it is minus 5 because 5 into minus 1 is minus 5 this should be equal to 0 this becomes minus 7 and minus 5 is minus 12 so minus 12 plus 12 is equal to 0 which is true minus 1 is satisfying the given equation now I put 3 so 3 cube is 27 minus 3 square is 9, 9 into 6, 54, plus 5 into 3, 15, plus 12. This is equal to 0. 27 plus 15 plus 12 is 54. This is 54 minus 54 is equal to 0 and hence the equation is satisfied. Now I put x as 4. 4 cube is 64 minus 6 into 4 square 4 square is 16 16 into 6 is 96 5 into 4 plus 20 plus 12 this is equal to 0 64 plus 20 is 84 84 plus 12 is 96 so it is 96 minus 96 is equal to 0 means the equation is satisfied 4 is also one of the roots so we find that these three are the roots of the given equation because they all are satisfying the given equation and second condition that product of two roots is 12 is also satisfied so here option B is the correct answer question number 50 solve a cubic equation is there x2 minus 5x is square minus 2x plus 24 is equal to 0 given that two of its roots being in the ratio 3 is to 4. Four options are given. We will take options one by one. Option A is minus 2, 4, 3. We apply the second condition that the roots are in the ratio 3 is to 4. Here one root is 3, another root is 4. So ratio is 3 is to 4 means A option is satisfying this second condition. Now, if these are the roots of the given equation, they will satisfy the given equation. So, minus 2, if I put, the equation should be satisfied. Minus 2 cube is minus 8. Minus 5 into minus 2 square is 4. Minus 2 into minus 2 plus 24 should be equal to 0. This becomes minus 8 minus 20 plus 4 plus 24 is equal to 0. Minus 28, 4 plus 24 is plus 28. This is equal to 0, means the equation is satisfied. Root is, one of the roots is minus 2. Now, I put here 4. So, 4 cube is 64 minus 5 into 4 square is 16. Minus 2 into 4 plus 24 
should be equal to 0. This gives us 64 minus 5 into 16 is 80 minus 2 into 4, 8 plus 24. This is equal to 0. Simplify this. This gives us 64 plus 24, 88 minus 80 minus 8 is 88. This is equal to 0. Means 0 is equal to 0. That is 4 is also satisfying the given equation. Now I put the number 3. If it is root, it will be satisfying the given equation. 3 cube is 27. Minus 5 into 3 square that is 9. Minus 2 into 3 plus 24 should be equal to 0. Means 27 minus 45 minus 6 plus 24 this is equal to 0. This gives us 27 plus 24 is 51. Minus 45 and minus 6 is 51. This is equal to 0. Means the equation is satisfied. 0 has become, this left hand side has become equal to the right hand side. That is the equation is satisfied. So option A, all the values are satisfying this condition that they are the roots of the given equation because they are satisfying the given equation and hence here option A is correct. We will not go for option B, C and D. There is no need. So option A here is the correct answer.